Okay, so I'll give you a little tour of the Discord stuff I've been working on. Discord noob. So just, you know, I'm sure I'm not doing everything properly or whatever, but this is the little Roberts Mania server. I got some general channels and stuff. Um, stream notifications is like, if you wanted to know when I'm broadcasting and stuff, I think I'll have this, when it get, actually goes live, have that go to a role that's for um, stream notifications. Right now it just puts it in this channel. And if you subscribe or got notifications for this channel, it would probably be too much. Um, but it shows when we go live, it shows when we enter, enter series, it shows when we, the race starts, the race finish, what position we're in. So I don't know. I mean, it's a little play by play, whatever. Um, there's also this race notification, um, which spits out notifications for the race series and stuff that I care about, um, or that I'm likely to participate in. And I'll probably vary the search parameters week to week so that it shows what races I'm potentially going to go into. I don't think anybody else is going to care about these very much, um, but it's cool for me personally because now I get Discord notifications like on my phone uh, if I care about it. Um, and there's this little roles um, thing so I can turn on and off whether I'm getting, oh, it looks like you did it too. Um, so right now, if, um, if I have it enabled, then obviously I get a, a bing when there's a new race notification. Um, if I know I'm going to dinner or I'm asleep or whatever, I can just toggle that off. And I, then the messages still come to the channel, obviously, um, but we don't get them spamming notifications when I don't care about it. So especially for like the races like Lotus and stuff like that that don't often go official, uh, it's helpful. And it also motivates me if like I could do a race in the next hour or two, if I'm getting notifications um, about them and they go every five minutes if any of the conditions are met. Um, it helps motivate me to like, oh, I could do that next race. And so maybe I'll actually start to participate more. Um, and then there's a schedule searches channel. And I, I think this is cool. Um, so if you go up here to the top and you click on the channel description or, or the you know, whatever, um, these are the commands that you can execute. Um, so like we'll do track first. Um, you just type in track. And then a track you care about, like Laguna, it shows the data from the current schedule series, which track or which series are running at that track during which week. Seems kind of cool. Um, if you want to check the schedule for something, you can take schedule and like if you wanted to know about radicals. Um, it shows you the weekly assignments for which track they're at. So this week, week four, we're at Suzuka. Next week, it's going to be Laguna Seca, and I'm going to farm. Um, and then um, you can also just do, uh, if you do next, that shows the next races that have at least some participation. So you'll notice in the description here, some of them have a min participation parameter that's optional. Um, so if you said, next six that only shows you the ones that are going official right now because uh, they have six participants if you did next zero it'll show everything even if they don't have it and it goes further out into the scheduling than people could possibly sign up um, but at least that gives you the information about what's happening when um, and then I guess search is the last one, um, and that's probably the most complex. So, or it's simple. I mean, you just say search um, radical zero, and that shows you that there's one radical race in the schedule, but it has zero participants right now. Um, but like to check for the races I care about, you can combine terms. So you can say search, um, say like indie pro, and if you do terms in double quotes like that, it groups them together as a thing or radical or Canadian. No active searches. Did I spell it wrong?
search in the pro radical Canadian. And we'll give it the parameter of zero for the participation. So there we go. So that shows everything and it groups them by time and segments them. Um, so like that. Formula C is F3. That's right. Um, and I think it says there, right? Doesn't it say? Um, so actually here, let's do search. The so yeah, it's the Delara F3 series. So it says there in the um, description. And that data is the same that's hooked up to my voice commands for checking the schedule or checking participation. Um, so like Pit Girl, check the schedule. Pit Girl, check the schedule. What would you like to check? Are there any F3 series coming up? Chris, the next F3 series, Formula C, Thrust Master Dallara F3 series, is starting at 1.15 p.m. in 24 minutes at Long Beach Street Circuit with 11 participants. So it's just that easy. So, I don't know, the schedule searches channel might have some value for participants on the Discord. Um, I made it so you can only use the commands in that channel. So if you like go, here's this test channel. If you do next here, it tells you that it needs to be used in the schedule searches. Cause I don't want people like just spamming the other channels with too much stuff, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if I need to be concerned about anything like that. Um, oh, but the other thing, especially since I'm using this on mobile most of the time, each of the commands has a single character or double character abbreviation. So you can just do N for next, or you can do S. For search, or you can do T for track, or you can do SC for schedule. So, and that's a good example. If you did schedule F3, it shows all the series that match F3, but it segments them separately. So you get the fixed and the open series as separate results. So yeah, that's what I've been working on a little bit. Um, this morning's changes were the race notification, um, or the stream notification, sorry. Um, getting it so that it's hooked up so that when we go live and then we go through races and stuff like that, she spits out stuff here. But like I said, I think I'm going to make it so that there's a role for um, stream notifications uh, that'll get toggled. And you'll probably want to take the race notifications off, um, Corvinus, because it's going to spam you every five minutes with a lot of stuff that you probably don't care about. But the stream notification will let you know when I'm actually broadcasting. So that's probably more valuable. But maybe that'll be a task for this afternoon. Alrighty. Well, I have to go uh, for now, but thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. It's a fun radical race. Any race, any radical race you can walk away from is good. So, all right. Um, I'm going to sign off for now. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye. Big girl, end stream. Ending stream. Please remain calm.